Welcome to Moo Moo Math. In this video, adding and subtracting integers. Ask yourself, is the problem addition? Yes. Then, are the signs the same? If yes, add the absolute value of the add-ins. Give the sum the sign of the add-ins. If the problem is addition, but the signs are different, then, Using the absolute values, subtract the smaller number from the greater number. Give the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value. If the problem is subtraction and not addition, then change the subtraction sign to addition. Then change the sign of the number behind the subtraction sign to its opposite, then add then follow the addition rules. Let's get started. Hello, welcome to Moo Moo Math. In this video, I'd like to talk about adding and subtracting integers that are positive and negative. If you remember from the intro, what you will do is you will first ask yourself this question. Is the problem addition? If it is a yes, then are the signs the same? In this particular problem, the signs are not the same. You have a positive 8 and a negative 5. So what we will do is we will subtract the absolute value of both numbers. So then we have the absolute value of negative 5. So that becomes 8 minus 5. So we have 8 minus 5, which is equal to 3. Now you ask yourself, what about the sign? Will it be positive and negative? So what you do is you take the sign of the larger number, which is 8. So it becomes negative 3. Okay? Let's look at another example. We have 5 plus negative 9. Is the problem addition? Yes. Are the signs the same? No. You have a positive 5 and a negative 9. So what we will do again, we will subtract the absolute value of both numbers. And so that becomes absolute value of 5 minus absolute value of negative 9, which becomes 9 minus 5, which is equal to... Two, let me just write this again. We have 5 minus 9, which is equal to 4. Now, what sign should we take? 9 is larger than 5, so it will become a negative 4. Okay? Now, let's get to the next one. We have, is the problem addition? Yes. Are the signs the same? Yes. So we will add the absolute value of both numbers. So the absolute value of negative 4 absolute value of 6 is equal to 10 and then you take the sign of the two numbers which is negative okay now let's move on to the next one here is the problem addition no so what we will do is we will change the sign and so we will bring down the negative 5 and we will change the sign of subtraction to addition and this change the sign of the number directly behind it from negative 7 to positive 7. So now, is the problem addition? Yes. Are the signs the same? No. So we know we will be subtracting. So we will subtract the absolute value of 5 minus the absolute value of 7. So that becomes 7 minus 5, which is equal to 2. And then we take the sign of the larger number, which is 7, and it will be negative 2. Okay? And let's work two more examples, see how we're doing here. If I can get the paper set. Okay. Next up, we have negative 3 minus 12. Is the problem addition? No. So we will change the sign. So we have minus negative 3 plus 12. Excuse me. Change the negative to positive and the sign of 12 to negative 12. Now we ask ourselves, is the problem addition? Yes. Are the signs the same? Yes. So we will be adding the absolute value of 3 plus the absolute value of negative 12, which is 12 plus 3, which is equal to, I'll, I'll go ahead and rewrite this. So basically it will be 3 plus 12, which is equal to 15. And you take the sine of the two numbers, which is negative, so it will be negative 15. And finally, the last one, we have 
Negative 12 plus negative 7. Is the problem addition? Yes. Are the signs the same? Yes. So it will be the absolute value of 12 plus the absolute value of 7, which is equal to 12 plus 7, which is equal to 19. And then you take the sign of the two numbers, which is negative. So it will be negative 19. Hope that helps in adding and subtracting integers. Remember, Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day. Please subscribe and share to our channel.